What is good, my beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. So one of the main requests that I get in the comments is to do more Nikon video related content. And this is going to be the start of that journey here on the channel over the next couple of months. Now, with that being said, we can't get into the meat and potatoes without hitting the basics. And that's what this video is going to be today, a basic video on how to create a Nikon Cinema rig. Because what's the point of having an awesome camera if you don't have a good rig to follow it up? Now, this is not a sponsored video. Nikon has sent me both of these Nikon Z8s, but that is for a sponsored video coming up. So they are not sponsoring this and neither is Nitze. They are actually just good friends of mine that I met over at NAB and I really wanted to make this video. So I hit them up on Facebook Messenger and said, hey, do you guys have any Z8 camera rig equipment? Because I didn't see any on their website and they sent all of this over for me to be able to use. And they told me I didn't even have to send it back, but there's no strings attached with any of this, full transparency. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start building this rig from the ground up. And this is gonna be the first time that you and I are both going to be doing this because I haven't built this rig yet. So let's get into it. So the first piece of equipment we're going to start with is the camera cage itself. So I believe this opens from down here. We're just gonna lift this out and up. And cool, we got some tools for us to use. We have a NATO rail for the top of the camera. We have an airy rosette attachment for the rig. We have the top handle. We have some more accessories that we'll be adding. We have the bottom base plate here and we have the airy rosette attachment as well, which is cool because I brought one out. We have some Allen wrenches and the rig itself. So let me just go ahead, put that down here. Now, I believe with this one, this actually just slides on, which is pretty nice. Awesome. So the screw here is in the bottom of the cage already, and it looks like it's permanently attached, which is nice. Oh, and then there's a little accessory here to tighten it down when we need to. So that is awesome as well. So we'll take that out. And I believe I'm actually just going to slide it in just like this and get that screw in there. Then we're going to use this little tool. Ah, <laughs> I am struggling with this sitting here in silence. Awesome. And that feels nice and secure in hands right there. I'm liking the way that feels right there. Awesome, cool. So we will leave that there. Now the next thing that we are going to attach is going to be our top handle. So I'm going to bring this out right here. And the way I normally attach the top handle is with this. So we have this piece right here and we're just actually going to set that on top like that. Then we're gonna get our screws out of the package right here. And bring these out. Awesome, and I believe these are Allen screws as well. Yep, easily. So we're just gonna come in here and put the first screw right there. We're just gonna get it slightly tightened down in there. Cool. We're gonna go ahead and take our other screw and put it right in here as well. Get that slightly tightened down. Awesome. We'll finish tightening that down right here. And we'll tighten this one down right here. Gucci. And then we can go ahead and slide our handle on just like that. And that's what these are for. So when you want to undo this, you're just going to go ahead and hit that little metal button right here. And you can slide it off. And then we just simply lock that into place. And now we have this so far, a Nikon Z8 with the handle right there on the top. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and throw on here is the bottom base plate. And there's a button right here that we're going to go ahead and depress. Make sure you unscrew it and loosen it just a bit. We're gonna pull that down and that goes on just like that. Ooh, actually we can just drop this in. 
Is it drop in? Oh, it's drop in. Okay, so you don't even have to do that. It's just drop in. And then we'll go ahead and tighten that up just like that. So that's really nice there that you can just drop that in. And uh, yeah, cool. It's really nice. Awesome. So this is what we have so far. It's looking pretty good already. Um, let us go ahead now. And uh, what do I want to do next? The next thing that we're going to attach here is going to be our side handle. I'm just going to go ahead. Pull this out, pull this out. And so we have this piece right here. We're going to go ahead and take this right out. So I'm going to take this handle right here and I know I'm going to want it on this side of the camera. So I'm going to put this piece like so like that. And then we're going to take this. And we're going to put that right inside here. So let me <laughs> let me try to do this. Move this out of the way. I'm going to put that right in here. It's actually pretty easy. Then we're going to take our Allen wrench. And so you can adjust the height. Let's just get it set in there so it's not moving. Cool. I think I have it right. Yep, cool. We're just gonna keep tightening it, tightening it down. Awesome. So now you got your handle just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just slide it right on the side here where the NATO rail is. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up. Just like that. Now I have my side handle right here and we are looking good so far. I'm really liking the way this looks so far. This is awesome. This is nice. Okay, so what next? What next? At this point, let's go ahead and throw on a lens real quick. We're going to go ahead and throw on the 50 millimeter 1.8. Line up that white dot right there. Tightening, tighten that down. Awesome. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this follow focus ring attachment. And we're going to go ahead and throw that on just like this. And this is nice. So basically we're just going to come around here. I'm going to lay this on its back here and I'm going to tighten this up just as much as possible. Get it nice and snug on there and maybe even a little bit more, but it's super snug. Right there. Awesome. I'm liking that. Put that right there. Cool. Move these out of the way. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the two long rods that we were also given. And we're going to just go ahead and take these out of their covers. Like so, like that. Like so, like that. And I'm going to, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, but that makes sense. Because <laughs> that, that makes sense right there. Okay, so not the back ones, the front ones. This is actually fun making this video. I don't think I've had that much fun in a long time. We're just going to go ahead and slide them in here, just like this. We're going to tighten this one down. Awesome. Then let me put the other one in here gonna slide it in here just like that and I want them even even ish awesome so now we have this going on which is looking pretty good just like this all right so the next thing that we're gonna add on here is gonna be the tilted nucleus M follow focus so I'm gonna turn this around right here so we're gonna flip this baby on its back right here and I am going to, actually, I think I'm gonna want it this way, just like this. I'm gonna come on right here. And we're just going to line those up just like that. And we're gonna tighten this down. 
Awesome. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Gucci, Gucci. And actually, I'm going to readjust this ever so slightly. Because I think it actually may be better if we do it on the bottom, just like this. And I'll just come in here, readjust that down. Throw that on just like that. Now it doesn't sit even. Now we're sitting flat. Cool, now we're sitting flat. Awesome. So we have that right here. And it's going to be there. Now, the main thing that we're going to have to do is manually calibrate that. And we're going to have to use the screen in the back. But that is a different video for a different time. Let me take some of these right here to make sure we're getting it flat. Boom. Awesome. Now, the next piece of equipment I want to throw on here is going to be an airy rosette for our follow focus handle. I'm gonna turn this on its side right here. Boom. We're gonna add this on. Just like this. We're gonna tighten this down. Tighten this down right here. Tighten this down a little bit more. that tie down just like that and just like that awesome so the next thing that would normally go on is going to be the fall focus handle but we're going to save that for last because it will get in the way of just how nice this sits on the desk and now i'm going to go ahead and throw on the mat box that came so we have the mat box right here we're going to go ahead and put this on the front we're just gonna open that up. And I believe we can take this little top piece off right here. All right, we have the matte box on the inside. And a whole bunch of different filters. Now this is a 62 millimeter front thread. That is a really tiny front thread. So I had to find a adapter here for this because 62 is actually rather small. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this on here, like so, like that. And this is going to take us to 77. So then we can go ahead and throw our 77 millimeter. I'm gonna right there. And then we'll open this up like so, like that. That go on right in there. And we're gonna go ahead and clamp that down. And then we can unscrew this and boom. Man, I actually really like the way this looks so far. This looks nice. This is looking really, 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 really nice. I like this. Now, the next thing that we're gonna add is we're gonna add the Atomos Ninja Cage. Now, I'm currently using my Ninja 5 right now, so I do not have a Ninja to put on there, but I'm going to show you how to install this real quick and then i'll show you at the end of the video what it looks like when we have the ninja on there oh this looks nice i like this it's a nice color it's not black but i like the way this looks so let's take this out here boom 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 <laughs> okay i figured this out this took me <laughs> this took me a whole hot minute to figure out but i have indeed done it and it actually makes sense so we are going to <laughs> that was that was sad honestly that <laughs> this should not have taken me this long to figure out but boy was that funny okay let's let's keep our space looking nice and clean here for a second okay so we have this piece right here and we can see that it has this uh, square attachment on the bottom so we have a couple of places to put that and i find that it actually goes best right here because if we put it right here then it's going to get in the way plus all of our hdmi stuff is on this side of the camera right here so what we're going to do i'm just going to slide this on just like this and we're going to tighten it down now you can see we can adjust this just like that and then i am going to slide the nato rail accessory right here 
and it doesn't have to be perfect. So I can move it, you see just a little bit off to the side right there. So I can still grab from the top if I want to. And then we're just gonna come ahead, go ahead and clamp this down just like that. That's awesome. So this also still gives us a, a place for any hot shoe accessory right here if we want it. Awesome, I like this, I like this. I like the way that this is looking and feeling. And then we would go ahead and secure the Ninja probably from the top screw right up in here is how we would secure the oh okay yeah there's a top there's a top and a bottom screw that are going to go in here so i'm going to remove that at the end of it to show you guys what the rig looks like awesome so the next thing we're going to go ahead and take here is we're just going to go ahead and finally throw on the handle on the side and i wish there was honestly a higher place to put this. I'm gonna throw it on just like that. So we can put it on right here. We're gonna screw this in. Goes in kind of like this. Um, and maybe we'll come back just a little bit. Now I would tilt this down afterwards because I'm only keeping it like this because obviously it won't stand still, but I like this. And basically, if I was to have it tilted down, I can go ahead, let that fall just like that. And now I have the ability to have my follow focus here. And I would just go ahead and obviously attach these to a power source at some point. All right, guys, so I feel like this pretty much sums up the rig. I'm going to show you guys some examples of what it looks like with the monitor on. Of course, I'm using the Ninja right there, so I can't do that right now, but I want to show you one more hack. If you have an old Ronin S laying around like I do, I like to do something. Give me just a second. So I like to use the bottom handle from my old Ronin S, and I like to go ahead and put that on the bottom of whatever rig I'm using, especially if I'm hand holding it. Then I actually have a nice way to set my rig down if I ever need to. Now this is gonna give me a little bit more height now, so I can bring this down just a little bit more and don't have to readjust it so far. But if I am gonna go ahead and now pick this up, you see how now this is nice to have on the bottom, regardless of if I'm gonna hold it like this and control it, or if I'm gonna go ahead and hold it like this, this is really nice and easy to use. And this makes everything feel a lot more comfortable and you just have a lot more control and you can brace it a little little bit more uh, securely, I should say. And good, man. I like this. I like this a lot. So let's go ahead and get some B-roll of what it looks like completed. So anyway, back to using the Ninja V for what we need it for. But yeah, I think this is what I'm gonna be using for the rest of the project. I like the way it looks so far. It does feel really good in the hands. And like I said, even just having it down here, being able to use it like this feels also really good. Of course, I would put this down a little bit more so that it's a little bit more comfortable, but just so it can sit on the table right now, that is what we are going to be doing. Hope you guys also enjoyed that little hack. And I will bring you guys a full review on what this is like to use after we've used it for a bit. But there's a couple of things here that um, I didn't end up using at all because I don't have a need for it. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. If you have not, be sure to follow me on social media. The links are in the description down below, as well as the YouTube fam. Their links are also in the description down below. And my beautiful people, now more than ever, if you're ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life, remember, every day airplanes take off against the wind. Keep climbing, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. I'm Sydney. I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace out.